to your people, Israel. And I want us to go beyond verse number 26. The Bible says, and there was a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived with her husband seven years from when she was a virgin. And then as a widow until she was 84, she did not depart from the temple, worshipping with the fasting and prayer night and day. And coming up at the very hour, she began to give thanks to God and to speak of him to all who were waiting for the redemption in Jerusalem. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, if you follow the sequence of the words, I'm about to mesoma, first to Nambi Wahabaria, Simeon. Uh, and there are characteristics ambazo tunapewa habari zake. And it is not good to miss some words. Because unaweza fuatana na hiyo maneno mengine, uka miss na kile ambacho mungu walikuwa na umuhimu sana kwake. Akasema kwamba, this man was righteous and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel. Wana isu asifiwe. And the Holy Spirit was upon him. Kuna mambo manne ya meandikuwa pare kuhusu Simeoni. Na ni vizuri kuyatiria manani kwa sababu ya ni prikasa eh, to revival, to seeing what God has promised. Praise the name of the Lord. Bibine nasema kwamba, yeye alikuwa mtu mtakatifu, eh, mwenye haki. Amen. Mwenye haki. So ni vizuri ujiangalie kwa sababu character zingine wakati hazita jengeka katika maisha hata haya mambo makubwa unayotafuta hauwezi kuyafikia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kuna mambo ni lazima uelewe kwa nini Mungu alipeana description ya huyu mtu? Kwa nini haikuandikwa tu there was a man but it is written about what kind of a man he was, the kind of lifestyle he lived. Praise the name of the Lord. Wapendwa Na tumekua tukiongea mambo haya. Kanisa wakati tutarejea katika haki. Righteousness. Kufanya mambo vile ya nasahidi kufanywa. You know righteousness is all about uh, men. People. Hallelujah. Taking care of your relationship with the people. Usije ukawa kwa kanisa. Lakini hausikizani na watu. Hauerewani na watu. We ni mtu wa kugombanisha. Ni mtu wa kupiganisha watu. Ni mtu wa kiburi. Ni mtu jeuri. Lakini uko tu. Amen. Uh, jameni mambo mengine uh, Bibiria Paulo kuna mahali alisema ya kwamba Mambo mengine ya sitajwe kwa kanisa Wana suwe sana Lakini si mambo ya natajwa bao ni mabaya Ni aibu kwa kanisa Mutu wa mekopa mwingine pesa ataki kulipa Anahama kanisa anaenda hile igine I hope hukuwa kuna mutu mwenye madeni Ya mutu alihama huko kuigine juu ya madeni Huka kuja tu hili Utoroke nini Kulipa madeni Ni aibu Wana suwe sana Unatoka kule kwa sababu ya kitu ulifanya kiko na kasoro. Lakini badala ya urekebisha na wale wanajua. Unaheda kuigine. Praise the name of the Lord. In fact, kuna maneno ambayo ya mekuja kwa akili zangu. Si vibaya kukonfesi kwa mtu. Eh, lakini ni vizuri sana kukonfesi kwa wale wanakujua. Wacha wakura, wakurarue. Wacha wakuaibishe. Uwaibike hivyo lakini hile dhambi ikuishe. Kwa sababu wakati unaheda kutubu. Sasa ukienda China uwabie pasta wa China huko wati. Unamahali ulikosea. Uyo pasta anajua ukweli ama uongo Hata anajua kama unamundaganya ama ni nini Lakini wale wanakujua wanakujua Watakurarua lakini utapona Praise the name of the Lord Kuna haki na paswa ireje katika kanisa Now I was not going in that line But I am saying righteousness must return to the church People must begin to do the right things Hallelujah Doing what is right What you are supposed to do Praise the name of the Lord Si haki hata kwa kanisa Commitment ulio pewa. Kitu ambao. Kwa mfano. Unaulizo wewe ni nini unaweza fanya. Unasema minaweza kuwa asha. Lakini ukutukikupatia asha ringa. Haupatikani. Iyo si haki. Pengine tumekugojea. Tumekutarajia. Ni wewe tulikuwa tunataka uchukue muzigo. Lakini badale ya uchukue muzigo. Uli toroka. Uli enda. Wana yesu wa sifiwe. Si hata kuna watu utoroka. Wewe ndiye mpiga kinanda. Na unajua hakuna mwingine kwa hivyo. Unajua tu nikikosa hiyo ibada. Imeharibika. Na unakataa kukuja. Unakataa kutokea. Watu wanakuwa ama wanajaribu kupiga darama na makofi. Na unajua kila kitu iko na wakati wake. Sasa we fikiria kanisa ya leo. Ukipiga darama hapa. Uone kama kuna mtu wata ataiba. Watu wanakuagalia wanachirafu. Wanaona kibo dikopare haina mchezaji. Wanaanza kujiuliza maswali. Hii si haki unafanya. 
And these are the things that are in one way or the other affecting the flow and the move of the spirit of God in the church. Blessed be the name of the Lord. 